What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video guys. In this video we're talking about more Halo Infinite. So a couple days ago two new maps were announced for Halo. I mean they were announced before but we finally got our first look. They made a video of it. They made preview of two of the maps and I've already seen them but I kind of wanted to give my reaction to it. I mean I am kind of late. I should have done it when it came out but I just didn't have the time. I'm going to say this right now. I don't even think these maps are good and the fact that we've only had two in the last what six months and this is probably going to be the only two maps for the rest of season two i think i don't know if there's gonna be more maps although i'm glad that we're getting new maps it's just kind of disappointing that's only two and it's one for big team battle which i don't play at all i cannot force myself to play the horrid big team battle in halo infinite regular arena i mean i play it i just it's one map are you kidding me they really need to add more to the game but you know what let's go watch the video the preview video and let's just see what it's all about All right, so that was Catalyst. It's like a forerunner looking map. And here's the first thing that I don't like. I don't like that these maps are basically ripped straight out of the campaign. I mean, this isn't exactly what the campaign levels looked like. The campaign levels were so darn repetitive with the forerunner stuff that this just feels identical to what we saw in the campaign. And I really, really hate that. I was sick and tired of going through the same corridors, the same looking forerunner bullshit structures in the campaign. And now that we have a multiplayer map for this, it's just, it doesn't feel right to me. I'm not a huge fan of it. Another thing that I don't like is the lack of new weapons. I mean, where are all the old weapons from Halo 5? Bring that back. I don't care about the Ravager or like the Disruptor or all these garbage new weapons that were introduced. I want the scatter shot, man. I want the Forerunner weapons back. Those were really, really good. What happened to them? So the whole map kind of looks more like a abandoned Forerunner facility. It doesn't look exactly like the ones that we saw in Halo Infinite because the ones in Halo Infinite, the campaign, they were a lot more clean and there was no leaves or anything like that, which I kind of like that touch that there's, you know, stuff growing in the facility. I think that's pretty good. But like I said, it just reminds me a lot of the campaign. And I didn't like the campaign level design. It was too repetitive, like I said. It was really, really boring to walk through all of this. And the fact that this is just a map in the multiplayer, I really wish they came up with something a little bit more different, a little bit more unique. Not just ripping some idea straight out of the campaign and just switching it up a little bit and putting it into multiplayer.
All right, so that's the breaker map for Big Team Battle. It's the Banish Ship Breaking Yards. And honestly, my first thoughts were, I really thought that the laser would be bigger. I thought that this map would be a little bit more wider so that there's a huge laser cutting across, but I didn't really expect it to be this small. I feel like the only time you're actually going to be in contact with the laser is right here at this jump. I don't think you're even going to be able to get hit by the laser when you're here, unless you're like on this like little ledge area here. Possibly, if you're somehow able to get up here, I guess that's when you can get hit by the laser. But I really expected it to be a lot more like a big, huge laser just cutting straight across and just destroying anything in its path. So this map is more of like a close quarter type map. It's not like a huge map like the ones that we see in Big Team Battle. This one's a little bit more smaller. What I like about this part right here is this huge crater that it has. And I think that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool addition to the map. I also really like this lava here. I just don't exactly understand why the laser is cutting through the lava here. I don't know. Maybe I just don't see what it's supposed to be doing. Once again, I'm disappointed with the lack of weapons. I mean, sure, new maps, but goddamn, just add some weapons so the gameplay is a little bit different. I'm sick and tired of using the same old, same old weapons. And it's honestly pretty annoying when half of the weapons in the game are, are shit. Alright, let's put it that way. They're shit. I want the old weapons back. I want Forerunner weapons. I want the old Covenant weapons back. Holy, they removed so many Covenant weapons that it's just like, why would you do that? And yeah, as I said, I really thought the laser would be a lot bigger and, I don't know, maybe a little bit more wide. But, you know, we'll see how it plays out during the actual match. I am kind of interested. Alright, so that is going to be it. Sadly, it's only two maps, no weapons. Maybe they'll announce new weapons soon. That would be nice to see. Once again, I think Breaker is my favorite one out of the two. I just think Catalyst is really repetitive. I really hated the missions in the campaign because it was just the same Forerunner bullshit over and over again. And now that we get a multiplayer map that is Forerunner themed, it's kind of annoying. I've seen enough of it in the campaign. I don't want to see it in multiplayer. I felt like that in previous Halo games, the beauty of taking a campaign mission, switching up a little bit and putting it into multiplayer, was that you didn't see that campaign mission all the time. In Halo Infinite, you saw these 400 facilities like hundreds of times and it was really annoying to go through the same 400 facility over and over again and see the same blue and like gray steel walls. But you know, it is what it is. Hopefully it plays well. I am not excited. I'm not going to applaud 343 for this because this is two maps. And I, I swear to God, if it's going to be two maps for the rest of season two, it's going to be the most disappointing fucking two maps ever. They better add more shit they better add more weapons but yeah it's kind of annoying that we just get two maps that are kind of mid after six months of like no updates but yeah you know maybe my opinion will change when i actually play the maps we will see and that is going to be the end of the video guys so thank you all very much for watching leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace out